Chess friends, I hope you are doing well, today, I have a very interesting game to showcase my brilliance against the top chess engine, Torch Chess AI, I played with the black pieces and I played the game very authentically and remarkably because it has become a trend to play with the black pieces and defeat white, so let's get started without wasting any time, Torch started the game with e4, 4, we have e5 knight f6, I mean knight c6, and bishop c4, employing the Italian game, a few moves later. We have t6 followed by knight to g5, putting pressure on the f7 pawn, here, I could go with f5, initiating a chess gambit where knight to f7 can come to fork my pieces, therefore, I will put my queen on the h4 square, putting pressure on the pawn, playing g3 would be a good move to consider, then, I will consider queen h3, but if white dares to castle, then he will be gone, he will have to pack his bag and go home because I will consider f4, blocking the bishop's diagonal, here, I may also sacrifice my rook. But the best move for white would be to consider knight d2, however, if he dares to take the rook, then I can smash white by considering bishop to g4, putting pressure on the queen diagonally, the pawn is pinned, so after the queen moves, knight d4 comes in, where knight to f3 check can arrive on the board. In this position, white can play any normal move, such as bishop takes knight, but then I will consider knight to f3, forking the queen and king, after capturing, I can checkmate in the following moves, as you can see with my queen, the game will be just over. So going back, noticing that knight f3 check can come, after knight to d2 happens in the game to protect that square, I can eventually make a significant move by capturing the pawn on the c2 square, you can see that your queen will be harassed and trapped, and the game will be over. Going back again, we saw that a5 was possible, but I didn't consider that move because that gambit is very risky, therefore, I played knight h6, and after c3 happened to block any knight moves after castling, h3 comes on the board, white just wants to block all my knight moves, and his c3 pawn is protecting the knight from coming into the center, therefore, I played knight a5 to put pressure on the light squared bishop, the light squared bishop had to run to the b5 highway because on another highway. The police were surveilling the road, a couple of moves later, we have f6 to put pressure on the knight, as the knight retreated, I just reinforced my knight on g8, I wanted to develop my knight to a better outpost, white strikes with e4, and a few moves later, the bishop moves back to create indirect pressure on the h7 pawn, the knight can also make the situation spicy, making the recipe very hot and delicious, therefore, I need to kick out the queen by playing g6, a few moves later. As the queen is protecting that square, we are just doing some chess dances. Finally, I considered g5, this g5 move is very committed, and it is a supernatural, conscious move, therefore, the knight can go to e7, and the rook can get the open half g file, the bishop's diagonal is open, h5 can also come, these are all the rebellious moves I can initiate against white's kingside because a torch cannot illuminate his cornfield, and I can fire up his field by playing h5 followed by g4 on the next move, many players might think of capturing the pawn on g5 to sacrifice a piece. But that would be a waste because my queen is protecting that diagonal very well, after h4 comes a few moves later, the queen becomes very harsh in that field, so it retreats, a few moves later, the rook comes to f7, followed by g7 in the game, to break open the g-file by playing g4, all my pieces and armies are attacking that square, a few moves later, when bishop b6 comes on the board, the pawn cannot be captured because after all, your rook on a1 will be unguarded, it will be like a punishment for you. So as the bishop moves back to the d1 square, you can see that my bishop has a very dominating diagonal, g4 can come on the board, but the problem for me is that I cannot play g4 because, after capturing, it doesn't matter with which piece I capture, the position of white will be safeguarded by the queen, after queen takes g4, queen exchanges will occur soon, and white will get a significant advantage, this will not bring any advantage for me, so don't use your dumb brain to give me solutions. So, let me provide you an inspirational quote for happiness. Happiness doesn't come from the approval of others, it comes from your self-worth and making choices that are true to your soul. Going back to the position, 
I didn't consider g4 because I am not like you. I need to retreat my queen and reinforce my knight to get a good outpost on the f4 square, to make the position very adventurous and create sequences of my pieces to attack in the kingside structure, g4 can also come because the bishop's diagonal is there, and even if bishop takes f4, it doesn't matter because I can capture the bishop and the file will be open, f5 can also come, and I can even double up my rooks, all that is possible, the knight can also come to h6 to consider g4. That's what happened in our actual game, knight h4 actually happened to consider g4 because your knight had retreated, a few moves later, you can see that the position becomes very closed, so we have some pawn exchanges and knight to d3 on the board to put pressure on the pieces. I finally played g4 to break open the position, a very adventurous move. And many players even think of capturing the g4 pawn, but it is a very rubbish move because I can capture that pawn, putting pressure on the queen, and also put pressure on the f2 pawn, queen takes h4 is not possible because there is a rook on h7. The position will be just overwhelming for you. So going back to the position, as the knight retreats, we have g3 to put pressure on the pawn, again, you cannot capture the pawn on g3 because I can safeguard the h4 square with my pawn on g3, as the queen retreats, bishop to g4 can arrive to put pressure on the rook, the rook will be just trapped, and even if you dare to capture the bishop, after the capture, rook to h7 can kill your king under the river with an electric shock, the position again will be over. So going back to the position, we discover that the pawn cannot be captured, as the queen retreats, I capture the pawn, and you can see that the pawn advances to the second rank, one step away from becoming a new queen, you may think of capturing the pawn with the bishop, but if you dare to do so, then after knight to f4 arrives to put pressure on the rook, the rook moves away, and f5 arrives, a few moves later, when the pawn exchanges occur, the knight will be arrested. Even knight takes h4 does not matter because after the queen moves and the rook comes in, I can actually sacrifice my knight on the h3 square, it's not an actual sacrifice because the pawn is actually pinned, and as the queen moves, after capture and recapture occur, the king will be harassed again, noticing that the bishop's diagonal is there, I can capture the pawn on e4, dominating your board and seizing control over the files, making the position very complicated and challenging for you. So going back to the position, we discover that the pawn cannot be captured with the bishop, after rook takes pawn and some sequence of exchanges happens, we have f5 on the board, after the exchanges occur, we have e takes f5, and after the capture, we have f6, putting pressure on the rook, a few moves later, we are just doing some peace dances, and you can see that at the end of the day, we did a queen exchange, at the end of the day, I have two rooks for your two knights, one bishop, and two bishops for your rook, this position is completely winning for me because I am going to win one of your pawns, and you can see that we are just doing some sort of exchanges in the center, at the end of the day, we have more exchanges, and you can see that I have three connected passed pawns on the queen's side, even though he captured the pawn, it does not matter because I have two passed pawns advancing, and eventually, I even checkmated him with my queen, slowly and surely, I checkmated him. So I hope you enjoyed the game very much, if so, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, wishing you all the best bye bye take care see you soon.